Hey everybody, it's Awesome Ashby and I'm back with more affirmations. Why is it so hot when there's so many lights on when you're filming something? These are not the questions that I'm here to answer. Um, I'm here to do some affirmations for you. Did that rhyme? I like to rhyme. Okay, so today we're going to pull from the deck I bought for myself and for my boss. Uh, sweet ass affirmations by Rage Create. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Little evil gremlin inside that messes with your thoughts. And yeah. Anyways, you should look them up. Cool, cool dudes uh, who make these awesome cards. And we are going to pull from this deck today. Um, yeah. I don't know. I have quite a few of these positive affirmation decks, although Rage Create is number one. Theirs are fun, and yeah, I'm not sponsored. I just think that they're cool, and I discovered them last year while going through my midlife awakening. That's right. It's not a crisis. It's an awakening, and so uh, we're going to pull from this deck because I like it the most, and I show you... What do I show you? I show you the picture and then I read it to you and then it makes us feel good and I just don't see how you can go wrong with that. Okay, so we'll do that one. That one, that one, that one, that one. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. One for every work day of the week, but I know some of you work on Saturday and Sunday and if that is the case, my heart goes out to you and you are a beautiful creature and you are strong and amazing. Um, and when I think of a six or seven day work week, it makes me think of that documentary. It like won an Oscar a couple years ago called American Factory. If you haven't seen it, I don't know if it's still on Netflix. You should look it up. American Factory, it's super, super, it's good. Okay, so let's get down to business. Uh, this is the first one. And it says, I get super high. I never stop peeking. You could take that in a few ways. I'm going to take it in an emotional life energy highway. Um, yeah. So I get, I get super high. <laughs> You're so funny, universe. I get super high. I never stop peeking. So let me... You can see it. There you go. There's my face. There's the card. There's my face. There's the card. Okay. When you, yes, you see it. When your weakness is exposed and you feel like a helpless donkey strapped to an operating table, remember that you aren't the first one to be diagnosed by the peanut gallery. In the sinking pits of despair, you must trek forward to the next great summit. Expose yourself and be transparent. Reflect the wisdom of your fall back into the world. The lowest points in life are preparing you for the next highest explorations. How high can you get? Never stop peeking. I partied when I was younger, so I just find that hilariously funny. But I totally get the purpose of this card because I am familiar with the peanut gallery. And... When I started my midlife awakening about 18 months ago, gosh, I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah, crazy. Um, no, maybe 20 months ago? I don't know. That's neither here nor there. I, you know, didn't know what the future hold, but I knew I needed to change my life around. And, um, yeah, and someone, you know, falling, ugh, this could go on. So I'm just going to get to the highlights. Falling down is tough, failure is hard, but to grow and learn, we have to fall down. I think we get less comfortable with falling down the older we get. I take roller skating lessons now, which I've been really enjoying, and when I go and I see the little kids learning, they fall down all the time, and I couldn't stop thinking about that when I started to take my lessons. Like I was just so nervous to fall down and it's like when you learn something new whether it's mental physical whatever you're gonna fall down and you have to pick yourself back up and keep going and yeah like I said I think that's tougher to do the older we get uh, little kids are very resilient and they don't say anything wrong with it you know and there's nothing wrong with it but I think as we get older it gets harder to 
um, do. Just like when they say, when you fall down, a bunch of people come to your rescue and, you know, are asking if you're okay. You're a little on the, you're on the older side. And if, you know, they laugh, you're on the younger side because they know that you just bounce right back. Oh, goodness. So I definitely think I'm in that time of my life where people are concerned and then I laugh and so they laugh. So I will prolong that as long as I can. Is there an eyelash in my eye? Of course there is because I'm filming. Oh my God. Oh life. Okay, next one. It's got a camera on it. I love cameras. My moments turn out the best because I make the best of the way my moments turn out. I'm going to read that again for myself and for you. My moments turn out the best because I make the best of the way my moments turn out. I feel like this has to do with mindset, but let's read the back. We all face unexpected adversity in life. Loss of income, illness in the family, someone steals your fruity pebbles. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah, I used to love those. These moments always sneak up when you least expect them, causing internal mayhem in the form of anxiety, depression, and even anger. Although fruity pebbles, <laughs> although fruity pebble theft should be punishable by lashings, What's done is done and cannot be changed. Accept your disposition and make the best of what comes next. For the rest of your life, your moments will always turn out the best if you make the best of the way your moments turn out. Yes. Um, I feel like, I, I don't know why I feel like I always have to give an example with the card. But it's, uh, but I do. <laughs> um, you know, what would be my most recent example? Uh, la, 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 la. It's so easy to get anxiety about something that hasn't happened yet, you know, whether it's a date or a party or meeting someone new and we don't know how other people are going to react. We can only control the way we, we react. We react. And when we have a positive mindset, normally positive things happen. I'm not saying always. I'm not a fortune teller, mind reader, um, but... I do think having a positive mindset and trying our best to make all the moments in our life the best they can be is a skill set and not like just comes naturally, you know. Um, yeah, it's something we work on. And I would, I guess I'm saying we should all work on moments turning out the best because the best, uh, because I make the best of the way my moments turn out. So let's do that. Let's do that today. Um, okay, next card. We're moving forward. Third one. I, oh, I like this. A magnifying glass. Okay. Um, I release all distractions. Ooh, this is, tough. this is tough. This is a tough one for me. My life is simple and focused. You see it? Remove anything in your life that is not of absolute value. Clear the clutter in your home, your email inbox, and your social media accounts. The price of distraction is much greater than you think. Less distraction equals more awareness, equals more focus on value, equals stronger relationships, plus higher levels of creativity, more, equals more opportunities, equals more success, equals free, happiness and freedom. I'm doing that again. Less distraction equals more awareness, equals more focus on value, equals stronger relationships, Plus, higher levels of creativity equals more opportunities, equals more success, equals happiness and freedom. I believe in that. I work on that myself. It's gotten better in the last 18, 20 months, but can I sit on the YouTube and the Instagram? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Uh, but I'm working on it. Okay. So... Number four, by kissing my bliss, I electrify my relationship with life. I like it. Sounds vague. Let's read what it says. When you follow your bliss, that thing that truly electrifies you, four things automatically happen. You put yourself in the path of good luck. You meet the people you want to know. Doors open where there weren't doors before, and doors open for you that wouldn't open to anybody else. And apparently somebody named Joseph Campbell, Campbell wrote that. Now I want to Google who that guy is. You should Google who that guy is. Um, so let's talk about the four things. 
You put yourself in the path of good luck. You meet people you want to know. Doors open where there weren't doors before. And doors open for you that wouldn't open to anybody else. By Joseph Campbell. And that's what happens when you follow your bliss and do the thing that truly electrifies you. And I love that. Electrify yourself. Follow those smiles. Follow those smiles, not those likes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I do enjoy a smile. Okay. And last, but certainly not least, what is this one? I don't know. Um, my emotional fear is an illusion. <laughs> Um, I agree with that. It is not easy to make it go away, but I, I agree. So let's look at the card. My, um, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Okay. My emotional fear is an illusion. You are a hunk of magical meat strapped to a skeleton made of stardust. You are raging through space on a giant rock at approximately 67,000 miles per hour around a giant ball of fire in an infinite abyss. Be brave and bold in your quest because you are a product of the impossible. Yes, you are. I get it because it's like if you really look at the big picture and I mean the big, big, big picture, um, we are a hunk of magical meat strapped to a skeleton made of stardust and we are raging through space on a giant rock at approximately 67,000 miles per hour around a giant ball of fire, the sun, my fave, um, in, an infinite in an infinite abyss, space. Be brave and bold in your quest because you are a product of the impossible. And it is totally impossible that we're even here on the planet. So, true story. Um, I hope those were fun and they brighten up your day and they make you feel a little bit more optimistic and better about the whole big picture. And until next time, what do I like to say? Communication is the key in any and all relationships. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh.